guys okay um let's talk about janet jackson now i don't really like talking about her because you jays be going for a sister's throat but you know i said that i didn't think she was pregnant and then i turned around after i seen the pictures of her pregnant um, came back and apologized, even though it's people that believe that it's a fat suit. I don't believe it's a fat suit. I think she's pregnant for real. I do. I could be wrong. I mean, we all could be wrong, but I think she's pregnant for real. So, um, at any rate, guys, so at any rate, guys, I don't know if any of you all have heard of a show called Growing Up Hip Hop. Um, I don't know all the cast members on there. I know about Angela Simmons, the one who just had the baby by the, um, they say he a felon. But, um, yeah, I think I did a story on that. I can't, a video on that, I'm not sure. And then they got, uh, Jam Master J's son on there. He is, um, um, is it ASAP Ferg's? ASAP, ASAP Ferg, DJ, yeah, I think it, he's the, his DJ, and who else, I think he got, uh, Romeo on there, Master P's son, and, um, Y, oh, um, Peppa's daughter, and I can't think of anybody else except for James DeBarge's daughter, Christina, um, I, I don't know, why she's on there because she's not really hip hop. Her dad is R and B. I mean her family, the DeBarges are very well known, but they're not hip hop. But anyway guys, I was watch I was looking at Instagram normally like what I normally do. And um and um the um the they showed a little clip on there of James DeBarge sitting across from Christina and if you don't know the history of the DeBarge family I mean they are horrifically known for uh them being very popular in the 80s 90s era and drug use okay like the whole family was jacked up off of pills so um and I think El DeBarge had a history of alcohol but at any rate, Christina sat across the table from her dad and Christina basically asked him okay well, what's going on? Do I have a sister? She didn't say these exact words, but, you know, he took a long pause and he was like, you know, it's time for me to come out and talk about it. But basically, there is a daughter out there that me and Janet Jackson had. And I'm tired of hiding it, but there is a daughter. So let me say this, guys. Okay, let me say this, guys. I do recall it was a picture flying around about with Janet Jackson's, that's supposed to be Janet Jackson's love child. You know, the little girl looks just like Janet, but it's not uncommon for a niece to look like an aunt it's it's not uncommon at all you know it's not uncommon for cousins to look alike it's not uncommon for you know it, it just happens like excuse me guys even though you know i look just like my grandmother you know so at any rate guys um so like people said that that was janet jackson's daughter but i forget which one was the father they said that it was one of the oldest brothers was it tito was it tito yeah i think it was tito that was like that's my daughter now and i said before in my previous video i was joking but i'm being dead serious now guys there are families when there is a young child that has babies or a young child that has a baby or a teenager or something then either the older older sibling will take the baby and the older sibling will instead of raising the baby like an aunt they'll raise the baby like a mother or um the you know the grandmother will raise the child like it's one of her children you see what i'm saying like janet is actually could be actually sisters to her child or um 
aunt to her child. So it does happen. I'm not ruling it out because it's very possible. But when the the brother came out and said, this is, you know, my child, stop saying that. I'm like, okay, so what's the deal now? You know, and guys, I've loved Janet Jackson ever since she first appeared as Penny. We all have. Who did not love Penny? And then I bet you guys didn't know that Janet Jackson, well, you might know if you were true Jay, but um, that she was, she messed with Todd Bridges for a while when she was on different strokes. I remember her on um, Fame. None of you guys probably remember her on Fame, but I loved her on Fame. I thought she was the cutest thing. I even rem I remember when she did the Young Love, when she was on Soul Train, Young Love, Ring Around the Roses, Young Love. Searching for a hot soul true. Yeah, I tried it. Forget, forgive me, y'all. You know, I tried it. But I do remember when she was supposed to be pregnant by James Abarge. I'm old enough to remember that. I'm old enough to be there that when the rumors flew around that she was pregnant by him. But my thing is, what I have a problem with, like I said, sometimes families will make the decision to give the baby to an aunt or, I mean, to an older sibling or to an aunt or to uh, the grandmother. My thing is, James DeBarge, you, if it's true, you a nigga for this, James DeBarge. You are truly a ninja. That's not right. You know she having this baby with her husband. Um, You know, she's trying to... Obviously, she's trying to get past that or she has gotten past that. It's obviously information that if it is true, that her family, they've agreed for it not to be true. And from what I understand, like, I think James DeBar said that, um, yeah, basically, Joe was like, nah, I'm not, nah, not him. You can't, you can't be with these fools. The, the DeBarges, they some fools and I will not have my children associated with that. So it's very likely that she could have you know, giving the baby up or, you know, maybe just Joe had bigger dreams for her. I mean, it happens. I don't have an issue with Janet in that regard because it happened. What I have an issue with is James. That's some nigga shiz for you to do. You're not right. That's not fair. That woman is about to have her, um, baby with her husband and on top of that come on who is it what is this we tv and centric that did that why you do that you did that for what ratings come on now come on and then the way you just dragged it out and was like i've been tired of hiding this it's been eating me It's true. There is a baby. I was like, ah! Y'all, I was, I was so peed off that James DeBarge did that in that moment. And we all know he just came home from jail not too long ago. For what? D-R-U-G-S. So, you know, I'm like, maybe he did it for money. I don't know. You know, and the, I know the producers was like, uh, what about Janet? Do y'all really do have a love child? Because everybody wants to know. Every Everybody wants to know, is there a love child? Especially since the picture of the little girl that looked just like her had um surfaced. So, I don't know. I just think... Well, I, I think that if it's true, I absolutely have no problem with it. I really don't because it happens all the time. If it's not true, the boss, James the boss, use a dirty mother sucker for that. You are a dirty mother sucker, James the boss. I know they paid you. They better had paid you well for you to throw Miss Janet under the bus. And you need to be careful, you know. Because if them J's came from my throat the way they did, oh, you better believe they're going to be looking for you, baby. They're going to be looking for you for damaging their princess's reputation. Them J's don't play. Them J's don't play. So all I got to say is, 
you know, James DeBarge, you are a mother sucker. You sold that woman out. And my thing is, even if if you even had love for her enough, you would protect her. What about the child? So now you're going to, if it comes out, then now the child's going to have more scrutiny. Because y'all, I know y'all seen the picture of the little girl. I know y'all do. Let me see if I, I probably make it the thumbnail. But I know y'all seen the picture of the little girl. She looks just like Janet. James DeBarge, you are a nigga for this one. Douche y'all.